for people like you and I. But the Lord said, uh, and the person this prayer is for, you will realize in less than 24 hours. Uh, somebody with a loud voice, thunder, obituary, shall fire. What God cannot do does not exist. What God cannot do does not exist. Uh, I celebrate you, Papa, and I celebrate everyone here. My name is Femi, and I am doing this testimony from UK. <laughs> now, <laughs> just today, and I decide to do it as it is hot, like everybody used to say, as it is hot. Just today, while we were praying for the four days of wonders, and suddenly, <laughs> Papa said, I don't know, at exactly one hour, 26 minutes, Papa said, I don't know. But the person that this is for, he said that person we know within 24 hours. He said, God said, I don't know I am I we are declaring this. Yes. But the Lord said, and the person this prayer is for, you will realize in less than 24 hours. Somebody with a loud voice, turn down obituary. Shall fire. Somebody turn down obituary. Can you scream fire? That was the word of knowledge and he said something he said he said every open grave around me and my family he said fire say today a new open grave around my family say a new open grave around my family right now fire fire Ayataka, and we prayed it we didn't understand <laughs> only for my mom to call me at around 12 o'clock and she said that my sister was involved in that ghastly accident at Ikeja the one that the train collided with the bus my sister was in there but my sister came out ill and healthy <laughs> the bible says that we overcame by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony because she came out fine oh god papa god bless you sir <laughs> thank you so much for taking this mantle <laughs> i can see and i know that is an heavy mantle and i want to say thank you so much thank you to every of your crew wow wow that is how my sister was saved from the clutch of the devil today and the clutch of death and the clutch of the grave what god cannot do does not exist ah thank you so much papa <laughs> thank you sir by the sound of your amen i command let every open was sell up by fire how will you shout how will you dance for what God cannot do does not exist. I was suffering for an open wound for a good 26 years. But with the help of Papa Jerry Eze, God healed me. I received my healing last year, December. Papa declared an healing power. You, that person that's serving an open wound, receive your healing now. Anybody with an open wound uh, that has refused to Jesus, seal up, uh, I don't care uh, what the reasons are uh, and why the wounds are. Uh, back uh, it all uh, uh, by the sound of your amen, uh, I command, uh, let every open wound seal up by fire. Uh, and I claim the healing and it works for me in the mighty name of Jesus. God restore my leg. God make me stand by my feet again. I say praise be to God. Thank you, Papa Jerry Eze. Thank you, NSPPD. Thank you, all the members of the NSPPD. God bless you all. What God cannot do does not exist, NSPPD. <laughs> my name is Favor. I live in Germany. Last month, when my son fell sick, was having a little fever. So I took him to the children's doctor. They just check and they say, it's just a minor fever. I should take him home. They gave me some prescription, which I collected the drugs from the chemist and I started giving my son. But immediately I started giving him the medication. The thing gets worse and worse and worse. So I took him to the bigger clinic close to my house. When I got there, the doctor now said, ah, what really happened to this child? I was trying to explain and he said, ah, thank God you came home, madam. So they started checking and checking so they can know what is really the problem. So they checked, they checked, they did not say anything. So they, they brought the scan machine and they scanned him. They discovered that there is a fluid 
in close to the lungs so they need to make an operation they did the operation it was successful meanwhile before they carry on the operation they told me they want to infuse him to sleep for like two days so i was already feeling my son i said can i leave my child for two days i will not talk to him i was just crying so but i have to I just said, okay, they did the operation and it was okay, he was sleeping. So after two days, he did not wake up. I said, doctor, what is happening? He said, uh, they don't know, let's watch. It get to the third day, he did not wake, no sign. Ah. I said, doctor, what is happening? He said, he don't know. They have been doing this kind of operation before, but this one is somehow, the thing is somehow, he started mentioning some nonsense, nonsense thing. He said, the liver is not working, the kidney is not working, the lungs is not, he started counting all sorts of things that would make me just faint. Everything in the stomach or from the chest to the stomach is not working. Nothing is working again. So they have to fly him now to another state. Oh, I said, God, no leave me for this one. I started crying. That day they made a call. They called the other hospital in the other state. And those people came. After one hour, they just came with a helicopter. They fly him. Then I got there. Hey, I said, let me see my son. They said, no. Next day morning, I remember that ah, somebody has been sending me this prayer, NSPP, this prayer. I just log in. Not up to five minutes. Pastor Jerry now said, um, there is an issue, there is somebody, it started with a uh, uh, limonia. And really, they started with limonia with my son. They say he has a limonia before the operation. After the limonia, they discovered that there is fluid in near the lungs. Then it gets into um, so serious. Now, he just prayed, he mentioned everything they narrated in the in the uh, prayer that it was just all about my son. They started with calling in pneumonia. From there, they moved. I said it's something about the lungs. From there, they said it has caused the left side of the heart to have major structural issues. If you are the one and you know that this was a progression, put it on the live stream and say, I am the one I decree and declare by the power that raised Jesus from the dead let it be broken right now and I scream I say that is my son I just teach to read I finished the prayer that day now we get there I just summon that courage because I have prayed with uh, NSPP did that money when I got there I just prayed with him and I anoint him so after we finished the prayer we left the other day again when we get there, the doctor now called us. He said, ah, madam, uh, do you know why we brought your son here? I said, no. He said, we brought him here because he's not breathing. Everything is not working. The liver, the lungs, everything is not working. But we brought him here because we wanted to put him in a machine that will help him to breathe back again so that he can start treating the lungs and everything that was not working. But it looks like he doesn't need that machine again everything has just started working all of a sudden i said this is god this is god this is god this is god i just say i cannot keep this because i am that shy type i don't know how to come out in a public and say hey this is what god but this one i can't just hold it it's just too much i am here to say god i thank you and i want to thank pastor jerry for submitting yourself for god to use this far thank you so much nsppd what god cannot do does not exist thank you so much hmm. what god cannot do does not exist pastor jerry oh bago oh bago oh bago oh bago you don't enter you don't enter i've been in germany now for eight years i relocated to come and meet my husband so in the process um I, I think after six years i applied for my german passport but the problem was the lady at the office whenever i go and submit a document she will keep asking me for documents that are not even existing she will tell me bring this one bring that one just looking for ways to frustrate herself not me i said no what am i even thinking about this woman for Bring it to the altar of fire. Pastor Jerry, I put it to the altar of fire. That day, last it was last year, I think in August, Pastor Jerry gave the word of knowledge. 
Your name is on that list. Your name is on that list. I don't know who you are, but the Lord said I should declare to you uh. as your amen was on that. Your name is on that list. Hey. Hear me again as I declare, your name is on that list. Pastor Jerry, me like just said, your name is on that list. Your name is on that list. They will say yes. They will say yes. Collect it by fire. Carry your passport. Anything. When anytime you give the word of knowledge about immigration, documents, whatever, I take it by force. Pastor Jerry, for let me don't talk too much. Oh, by go. Oh, by go. Pastor Jerry, see us. See us, see us, see us, see our German passports. Pastor Jerry, see German, see German passport. When this woman called me, uh, in fact, she was the one, me that was calling her. She was giving me uh, 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 a joke, a joke, giving me excuses. When it did, I put it on the altar of fire. But so this woman used her own hand, call me. In fact, let me call the give and say, I see what do you say? Excuse me, you say what? Hold on, I'm calling. I was there, I was there, I make you a girl for the woman. So that I mean, I was begging her for. She called me, say, Oh, Mr. Say, I'm sorry, I don't know what happened, but you will come and collect it, come and find, come and say, say eh? Me, Pastor Jerry, up I go. Oh, but God, see us, see us. Me, you're going to be a woman. Married to a query. Now, German. Hey, oh, let me. What God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry, may the oil on your head never run dry. May the oil on your head never run dry. We are waiting for you in Germany, yo. Come and open a branch. Come here now. Pastor Jerry, come and go. Come to Germany. What God cannot do does not exist. Oh, he's a joke, he's a joke, he's a joke, he's a joke. Because, for my life. All my life, I've lived with pains in my bones. Like, um, my bones will be pain in my hands, my legs, and everything. I'll be feeling pains there when I want to sleep. Like, maybe um, I, I just want to relax, lying on my bed, and I've not slept yet. I'll start feeling that pain. So, I used to hit my leg, I used to maybe tie and twist and bam to suit the pain, to relieve the pain, and everything. Growing up, I remember my parents taking me to different hospitals and everything. Nobody arrived at a diagnosis. They all gave me drugs, like that's malaria, supplement, all those type of things, but it wasn't doing anything. So fast forward to 2019, um, 2020, I was doing my internship at uh, University of Rio Teaching Hospital. I had a friend then and he noticed the pains and he told me that like, um, let's, go, let's go see a doctor. So I went to see a doctor and after everything, finally, they now um, came at a diagnosis, fibromyalgia. So when I went online to read about people in my area, I was like, man, this is, this is exactly what has been wrong with me. Like the pains, everything, the way my brain perceives pain, it, it um, increases the pain sensation and makes it so unbearable and everything. So I was really happy that there is now a name to the situation, you understand? But he said, um, there is no treatment, there is no cure, it has to be managed. Papa, I can't even carry a baby on my legs. I can't for like maybe 20 minutes, I'll start feeling pains or you can't stop my leg or want to rest yourself on my leg, I'll start feeling pains and all of it. So after I joined NXVPD, Papa, miraculous, I think a few days later you're praying about bone pains and everything, pain. I start feeling the pains. So you're like, we should testify, we should testify. And I was like, I said gold, like Papa didn't really mention fibromyalgia, he didn't mention the pain, do you understand? So I don't know whether it is. It is, um, it is my own, or it's not my own, or just stop momentary or something like that. But I told God, I was like, God, okay, if it is me, I want Papa to mention Pedro Myalgia. <laughs> Papa, this week you're praying, and you said, you said, I don't know how to pronounce what I'm saying, but what I'm saying is F I B R O M Y A L G I A. I don't know what this means. Uh, 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 I can't tell uh, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Uh, 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 but what I see written in front of me uh, uh, is F I B R O M Y A L G I A. That's what I see. Uh, whatever this is, uh, uh, by the power that raised Jesus uh, from the dead, uh, I command, uh, let it be reversed by fire. Papa, at that moment, I just, I just sat on the floor. Why? I was praying. I was like, God, I'm so you did. Is this, is this how you do it? Papa, I'm so grateful. I'm, I'm going to be 27 by October. All my life, I've, I've lived with this pain. Almost every every time of my life, every night of my life when I want to go to bed, this is the pain I experience. And just 
with prayer altar, everything is appeared. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank God in love. He's so faithful. Like I'm coming back to share more testimonies. Pastor Jerry, <laughs> you God showed him my condition. He felt it. He broke my heart. Okay. I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful, Papa. I'm so grateful. God bless you. The oil in your hair will never run dry. Thank you so much. God bless you all. God bless the entire NSPD. But shout out to Amen, Amen. All your heart desires to be granted. God, thank you. I'm so, so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Then I was having swelling face, swelling stomach, swelling leg, and for three weeks I've not been going to the toilet. So I did, uh, I record myself and post on social media because I was out of cash. I needed some uh, cash assistance. Good day, NSPPDans family. I am not bothered that the Lord has shown mercy. I'm here to testify the goodness of the Lord in my life. My name is Godwin Chine H. Pujama from Oba, Anambra State. 2022 December, I was down with kidney failure. This test was conducted on 8th December 2022. If you look here, you see dangers. This is the result of my kidney. I was admitted at the hospital and the doctor looked at me and said, my case is critical, but he's going to try his best. So I did, uh, I record myself and post on social media because I was out of cash. I needed some uh, cash assistance. So after posting that, my friend and my sister, Josephine, saw the video and she called me and said, Chine, what is happening? Where are you? I said, I'm at the hospital. I'm very sick and I'm dying. She said, okay, don't worry, you're not going to die. She now sent me a link of a stream of joy. I said, they're following up that day, second day. And uh, immediately I came, I saw the Pastor Jerry mentioning my case. So I claimed, I started praying, you know, to that kidney failure, I say it's a lie. That kidney failure, let God be true and every man a liar. I command, let that kidney bounce back to life. For the Lord has remembered you. Let that kidney bounce back to life. Let it bounce back. The following day, they mentioned my case. I said, praying as well. Even in the hospital, they see me as a mattress because every time I'll be with my phone, be shouting, you know, praying. So then I was having swelling face, swelling stomach, swelling leg, and for three weeks I've not been going to the toilet. So after that two days prayer, the following day, I noticed that those my swelling face started reducing, my leg, my tummy started reducing. I called Josephine, I said, Wow, God has started doing this miracle. My face and all this are reducing. She said, Okay, don't worry, God will do it for us. The, the next thing I did was I said, God, I know you are doing it, but please confirm my miracle. Because for that three reasons, I'm not going to the toilet. Each time I tried to go and force myself to the toilet because there was no space, you know, everything everywhere is filled up. So each time I go to the toilet to try to uh, do it by myself, I'll find that I'll, I'll start peeing blood. Not just blood, pure blood. The first day, the sentence, second day, the blood was much, the pole everywhere was filled with blood. My brother came, started screaming, shouting. They think, uh, even my myself, I was scared, I said, it's over. So, second, third time, the sentence, and the doctor advised me to stop doing it. That, don't, that I should not worry. The most important thing is my kidney to revive. Once my kidney revive, they can do operation to do whatever, whatever. And I said, no, God forbid, they can never operate me. After that, I now started praying. I said, God, please confirm my miracle. I want to be going to it by myself. People of God, after this prayer, the next thing, I started having an for toilet. But because of the fear, I don't want to pee out those blood again. I did not go that day, but I could not sleep well. The following day, I went. People of God, when I went there, I tried the next thing the things start coming out. When I was praying, the things start coming out. I shout and I scream. When, you know when Pastor Jerry will say, how will you shout? How will you scream when the God remembered you? People of God, I shout and I scream in the bathroom. And people was like, ah, what's happening there? I came out, I was happy. I called my sister, my friend Josephine. I called my sister, Chine. I told them that God has finally did it for us. That I'm not completely healed. I've confirmed it is done. So I said, okay, let me run tests. I now run another test. When I run this test, look at the result here. Look at it. You can see those dangers are no longer there. So when this result came out, the doctor called me and said, God win Chine, come to my office. And when I went, the doctor looked at me and said, My case, if this sickness has happened to 10 people, it's only one person has survived it, and that person is me. That God really loved me, God really did something in my life that I should go and live my life and thank God for what he has done for me. People of God, from that day, I received my healing. I'm now okay and sound. People of God, what God cannot do, 
does not exist at all at all my fellow nsppdians god will visit you today and he has already visited you just believe and take it thank you pastor jerry all the nspp dance family god bless you for what you've been doing god has used somebody like you to heal somebody like me god bless you sppd celebrate the lord 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 if you can do a miracle don't say anything but can you give the lord a shout of praise celebrate the lord celebrate the lord Give the Lord a powerful shout. Hey, you are the Lord. That is your name. You will never share your glory with any man. You will never share your glory with anybody. Almighty God, that is your name. You are a great God. You are a great God. You are a great God. All I know, we just want to say, Baba, And we just want to say, Baba, and SPPDS. I don't know how I feel. I don't know what to do. But God is faithful. God has shown Himself on this altar. You deserve the lifting of our hands. You deserve our worship. You deserve our praise. You deserve it all. Take all the glory. God curse the day we will take this glory to ourselves. You are the doer. You are the worker. The ever living Christ. You speak a word and you call it comes to pass. Take all the glory. Take all the honor. Be magnified, oh God. In the name of Jesus. Ah. God is good. He has done us well. Oh my soul, rise up and praise the Lord. God is good, oh. He has done us well. Oh my soul, won't you rise up and bless the Lord. God is good, oh. He has done us well. Oh my soul, won't you rise up and bless the Lord. Lord, you could have chosen not to do it. But you chose to put your name. Who are we? What is our pedigree? Where are we coming from? You use the weak things of this world to confound the wise. Thank you for all that you do on this altar. Be magnified, oh God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Be magnified, Father. In the name of Jesus. Amen.